Hello, Stampers. It's the Pampered Stamper. Happy Wednesday to you. I'm sorry there's a little bit of glare on this. Um, I had to turn the light on. I needed more space, so I'm on my stamp table and not on my desk. I am a little bit late, but I figured better late than never. I got a little carried away. Um, that happens sometimes. And I decided to take some time to have a little yogurt and granola before I did this. So this is Good Morning Magnolia, and it is actually a set of two. So it's a really nice stamp set and it is not retiring. The reason I'm showing you this is because this coordinating set is retiring. Okay, so this is a really super cute set. Item number 152729. Because if you don't have the beginner brochure, the creativity um, brochure, you won't be able to find this. So you can also Google it, Magnolia Blooms, and then you'll find it. Of course, you know I would love your orders online if you live in Canada. Um, it also comes as a kit with two little ink spots and some memories and more cards and snail and a block, which is really wonderful. It's a great gift to a stamping friend. But anyway, the reason I wanted to come on today is because I wanted to show you these memories and more cards. These come with the Magnolia thing. So they're brown cards and they come with an envelope and the envelope has a liner. Now I am going to tell you that these cards are really, really flimsy, okay? They are not our thick cardstock. But by the time you put on all the other pieces, I think, I think they're really nice and I love the envelope. So just a little heads up about that. So you just take this and I like to first put slide it inside my envelope, okay, to where I need it to go. And then I like to give it a fold, see? And then I can just go like this and add some adhesive on the back and fold it shut again. And really that's all you need to do. You don't need to bother putting adhesive in the bottom part. Now, if you're really um, Dutch or frugal, you might wanna just cut a whole strip of this off. Let's try it and see what happens. Okay, because it's really pretty paper and you may as, might as well use it. It's hiding in the envelope. No one's gonna see it down there. So, oh, got a hair in my eye. Okay, so we're going to take this, flip it this way, and I think we can cut about three inches off and no one will know the difference. Maybe I got too greedy. Maybe I shouldn't have done three, but let's find out. So we're gonna put this back in another envelope. Oh, I just, see, I'm putting it in so that it doesn't cover up the sticky part, okay? So now we're going to fold it. Oh, I guessed that quite well. See, look, if they go like this, they really have to look hard to see whether or not you um, cheaped out on them. Okay, and I think they, you know, most people would appreciate it. And no one really knows that the liner was supposed to go down all the way. There, so that's your little envelope. And now you have this bonus pretty piece of paper that you can use for something else. Now I haven't thought of what to do with that yet, but I'm gonna show you what we can do with this. So we have, this pretty little, see those are the small memories and more cards and that's all you'd really have to do. You're done. There's also these vellum pieces that come in it. Um, hi everyone, I am kind of looking, I'm actually standing up so that means I'm doing a little bit better for my back. I'm not sure it's a good idea, but I do like to see your comments. So hi Deborah, Carol, Patty, Glenda, that's all I can see. Oh, and Louise and Patty and Jojo, there we go. Um, so I haven't done anything yet with these vellum pieces because you know how we hoard things when there's not a lot of them. Okay, but you could color those, you can color vellum beautifully with your blends. So maybe I'll do something with these afterwards and show you what I've done. I do believe there's two of each. Okay, that always helps. I like it when there's two of each because then I'm more inclined to use it. But I'm not sure if I just lied to you about that. I might have. I'm looking. You know what, I think I did. I only see one of each, okay? And I don't think I gave the vellum pieces away. So let's just do this. So I'm gonna show you how simple you can make a card and how complicated you can make a card. So this is super simple, a 20 second card. The most amount of time is deciding which card to put on there, that's it. That took me 20 seconds, okay? You could add ribbon if you want, but I really like the stark simplicity of that. And if someone gets that in the mail like this, how pretty is that? No one is going to think that you um, weren't doing a nice thing. So there's that. 
And then, let me see what's on the other side of this. Oh, See, so these cards are meant for memory keeping. So you can put these in pocket pages and you can write your little story of the day and put your pictures in beside, which is a fantastic thing to do. Um, but that's not what I wanted to do. I keep grabbing for more. Okay, I also wanted to show you that you can get plain white memories and more cards. I just have to see where I'll put them. Here we go. See, so they come in just, and they are heavy duty. This is our thick whisper white card stock. So I want to make one with that as well. And take a look. I have this big one and see how it fits right on there. That's really nice. Here is another one. You are my everything. And you know, these cards that I have left are the ugly ones, believe it or not, because I used these at a bingo and we used all the nice ones. See, there's backgrounds like this. And see, hooray for today. And just plain. I really like that one too. Okay, let's see what we're going to do. Enough show and tell. Let's get down to business. This is cute too. All right. So I want to use my stamp apparatus. And. We're going to put that card in there. My Stamparatus needs a clean. My plate is filthy dirty. I'm going to put that in with a magnet. And remember when you use your Stamparatus, only one magnet at a time or you will be in trouble. My hair. The journey of life is best shared with a friend. We'll get through this together. I think that I want to do this one. Here and here. Thanks not only for what you do, but for being someone so special. All right, I'm going to, that's kind of where I want them. Whoops. And then I'm going to close it up and then I'm going to open it up and then look at the grid lines to see if it is straight. And I think I did a pretty good job. I'm going with it. I'm committing. Um, I'm going to tuck a stamp set underneath. And then I want to use two colors. I'm getting creative. I want to use garden green on the bottom. And then I'm going to use early espresso on the top. And let's close it up. Give it a nice press and see how I did. I can't lift the, the, the hinge underneath my phone very well. Look at that. That's not bad at all. I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with that. I am going to give it one more coat of ink. You know, I hate painting houses. Actually, I don't like painting of any kind because, um, yeah, I don't feel like I'm talented, but I really hate painting walls. But this looks nice. Do you see how that second layer of ink just really made it pop? Okay, so let's see what we're going to do with this. I could, I could put it on one of my brown cards. See, take a look. I will cover up that silver part, but it does look really pretty on the brown, doesn't it? I think so. But let's see what it looks like on the white. I folded my white card and I put it away and it is now hiding on me. You know, the gremlins are once again busy at 81 Delaware messing with my head. There we go. So let's see, so that's on brown. And now let's see how it looks like on white. Oh my goodness. It's very crisp and clean on white. That looks like spring to me. Now let's see, let me move that out of the way. Let me see how it looks on the brown again. And then you guys can tell me what you like. So do you like the earthiness of the brown or do you like the crispness of the white? Okay, I'm gonna decide. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, I'm going to put this one on white, and then we'll see. I have another card, so I can do another one. Put it on brown. Now, yesterday I did a mystery hour stamping, and apparently I heard from one of my former team members that my posts did not post in the right order or on time, which made it very difficult for people to participate. I was wondering why people hadn't posted their cards and done that, but now I know why. So next time I do it, I will do it differently. Um, I had a porch visit from my kids yesterday, so I had pre, I had scheduled the posts so that they would be up. 
and I guess it didn't work very well. I'm guessing that um, Facebook just didn't listen to me very well. Okay, I'm going to do this again, and then I'm going to put it on the brown, and then you guys can see which one you like the best. So I'm doing early espresso and garden green. You can use mossy meadow with this. You can also use mint mackerel. The nice thing is, is that, um, let me show you. Here it is in the catalog. And so it tells you the Magnolia Mem Lane Memories and More card pack, and then it tells you all the colors that go with it. So basic black, early espresso, garden green, mint macaroon, mossy meadow, petal pink, so saffron, so soft sea foam, and white. So you've got lots of um, lots of options. Oh, I'm seeing something else with this. And don't forget that your catalog is a great source of inspiration. Now I checked and they are still available, both the Memories and More cards and the large specialty envelopes. They're still available, but they are not on sale. Okay, so just so you know about that. There, that that's pretty good. Although I think the espresso, again, I'm going to do one more layer of ink. And then you guys can see that even though this is nice, if I do one more layer, it's just beautiful. See, that's so much nicer. Who would have thought? I love, love, love my Stamparatus. If you guys want yogurt, granola and yogurt parfaits, the fruit's amazing. Um, okay, so now we're going to put this one on a brown card, and then you can tell me. I'll post pictures later, and you can vote which one you like the best. And Oh, not upside down, Jackie. We've all done that. You know, if you by accident put your card on upside down and then the fold's on this side, I'm telling you, do not throw your card away. Open it up and write something funny in the inside. Okay, something that, um, that pokes fun at the whole situation. So there it is in brown, and here it is in white. Okay, so now my next card that I want to use is this one here. So we're going to put it in the Stamparatus, and... I don't want to, I don't have anything to wipe them off, so I'm just turning it around. That's the beautiful thing about this. They come out and you can flip them. So, put this inside, clip it with a magnet, and then I want to do this like that. The journey of life is best shared with a friend. We'll get through this together. Isn't that a perfect card for right now? All right, so I'm putting it down. And I'm seeing that it's slightly crooked. And there's two ways to do that. I can lay it on my grid paper and then use that as a, a guide. Because the lines on the Stamparatus are very difficult to see. I'm hoping that's good. Really hoping. We also have paper that goes in here. Actually, I could get it. I'll get it. I'll show you. You know... This stuff is meant for patient people, see? So you have this grid paper. It's the same as our big grid paper, except it comes in small small pages. So what you could do, and what I do if it's really important, like if this card, if I'm gonna make a lot of them, or if I want it for a class, then I'll take the time to do this. So then you ink up your saying, and then you stamp it on here. And then now see how it looks crooked on here? That's probably because I put the sticker on crookedly. But see, when I stamp it on there, it's pretty well perfect. It is about a half a millimeter out. Now, I am not going to fiddle with that. To me, in my mind, that's good enough. Like if you look at the word together, it's on there quite well. A total OCD person would not be happy with this because I have to admit, it's not perfect. But you know what I say, embrace your imperfections. Heck, I've even come to terms with my behind. That's a big thing, I'm 52. I finally stopped railing at it. Okay. Look how nice that is. I don't even think that, I'm not even going to give that a second coat of ink. It's perfect. Okay. So, I would think I would like to put that, except I don't have a white card. It's going to go on a brown one. Okay. And then, I'm not going to leave it just plain like that. I'm going to add some things to it. I didn't fold this properly. That's going to go on like this. Oh, this is such a pretty side too. This is the one I was looking for. I hope I have another one. 
Oh, 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 oh. Oh yes, I do, I do, I do. Good, so we can case the card in the catalog then. So that'll be great. All right, I'm over it. You ever have that when you're working with a certain piece of paper and you want to put it on a card and then you flip it over and you go, oh, I like that side too. And then you have the dilemma, which side are you going to use? Okay, so there we go. And now I have stamped a bunch of leaves and I thought I had some flowers as well but I have to find them because I think I buried them and that's not a good thing I have stuff everywhere as you well know because I tell you this all the time I have my adhesives I have the stickers I have two stamp sets and you know I lay it all out nicely at the beginning I swear I do I have two things of ribbon the one ribbon that came with this is I don't have any I'm out of it so, oh look, I found one. Okay, good. I found one. That means there's more people. I'm just gonna tidy up my space. And in the meantime, I'm gonna show you that it comes with stickers as well. So it comes with two of these and two of these. That comes in your memories and more pack, okay? So you do get a nice assortment of things. All right. Oh, there we go, bingo. There's my I stamped these with Memento on um, shimmery white. I'm just going to get some petal pink and um, I'm just going to lay these here. I'm going to get my blends so that you guys can follow with me. All right, and now I won't be watching, okay, guys? I'm going to be sitting down, and we're going to color some of these, and then we're going to decide where we're going to put them, okay? Because I think this card could use a little bit of extra. So you could color wash with um, with a blends. No, not a blends. I'm thinking an aqua painter. And maybe I'll do that, but that means you'll have to be patient. I have to get up. All right, so I'm taking my dark, and I'm just going along a little bit. You know how casual I am about these things. Um, there's enough to stress out about. You don't have to stress out about your coloring. Okay? And you don't press hard. You don't want to hear squeaking because then you're pushing too hard. So nice and light. And remember, now is the time to get your light blends because with the new catalog, they're only selling them in pairs. And I go through, I color a lot more with my lights so you're going to want to get the lights. Um, now I'm using old olive. So I am mixing up my greens. But you know what? In nature, there's all kinds of shades of green as well. So there is the olive. And here we go. Petal pink is just beautiful with old olive. It's just a really nice pink. It's kind of a peachy pink. So there we go, and we'll do a leaf as well. I can't remember if we, I don't think we have blends in garden green. I should know this. If we do, maybe one of you guys can comment and help me out. You know, I'm looking at this. Oh yeah, it is old olive. And if anybody lives in Chatham, I was at Food Basics this morning and they the raspberries and the blueberries are on sale and they are delicious. They're really good. Because you know, sometimes that kind of thing is hit and miss. So here you can see the difference between the old olive and the garden green. So see, but see how nice they look together? Yeah. So we won't get all bent out of shape. We're gonna do another petal pink because I'm not sure how many I'm gonna use on my card. And I don't know if I told you guys yet, but I'm not going to Holland tomorrow. I rescheduled. I was talking to KLM, and they could not guarantee me that I would be led into the country. So I had horrible visions of me flying all the way to Holland, then having to wait in the airport for another plane to take me back to Canada, and with Gerard on the other side of the glass. That would not have been pretty. So apparently... On the 15th of May, they're supposed to relax some rules. So I thought by the time the 19th comes, it should be safe. So 
let's see, old all of light. So you've noticed that I have, you can print off or whatever. I'm going to take my, um, if you have a labeler or a printer, you can print off labels because the sayings on our, our um, blends are tiny. Okay, it drives me crazy. It makes me cranky. Because, of course, it's a reminder that I'm getting old. I can't read the small print as well as I used to. I mean, I'm not wearing glasses yet, but I think I'm borderline. So little print makes me cranky. And the labels is a great way. It's just nice. At a distance, you can see exactly what you need. There we go. All right. That's good. I'm going to grab an aqua painter. And then... So here I have, I've already taken the block. I'll show you what I do just so that you can see it. You go like this, then you have the ink on your block. You take your aqua painter and you make a puddle. And then you take a leaf, oops, and you just give it a wash. And it's easy and it's beautiful. And then if you want to, you can add more later and just let it dry. To clean your um, aqua painter, just brush it softly. Don't press, you don't wanna ruin it. And then, I don't have one, I'm gonna use this. I'm just gonna peel that off. And, oh, I don't have my Blushing Bride ink. You cannot use your blends and put that on. You can with a marker, but not with blends, because that's alcohol. Okay. back. I know I'm one of those annoying demonstrators who doesn't have everything together and then walks away and leaves you with dead air there. So I've pressed that in and you can barely see that it's on there because it's such a light color. But let's take a look and see what happens. Make sure it's cleaned off. Make a puddle and it's really pretty, isn't it? There. And when it dries, the shimmer really shines through. And I'm never sure if those are little little petals going down. This one's going to be petals going down, I've decided. Because sometimes a flower has that, right? Um, I mean, I'm sure you could Google it. And then some pretty green leaves in there. And then we'll put our pieces... Our new die cutting machine is going to be absolutely beautiful. It folds up. It's very sleek. We can't get it yet. And even when the new catalog comes out, it won't be ready immediately because COVID slowed everything down. But it's worth waiting for. Okay, so now I'm thinking, look how pretty. Like that. And I have to put a leaf here because there's a spot. And... I don't know. There are bigger ones too. I can. I don't. I don't like mixing those two greens. Um, maybe I'll, we'll color another one. We're gonna color another one. Might as well, right? Oh, well, aqua painter. Oh, well, we'll color the, the flower first. Okay. Um. I am going to be blogging today, a little bit later. I'm blogging about the well-dressed stamp set. I think it's called that. It's the man one that was a celebration set. I'm including that stamp in my class to go. I have six ready to go, all packed up. Two are already sold, six are ready to go. And I am considering making a PDF for it if people want that, but I am definitely going to do a live video tutorial. So if you want to stamp along with me, um, you can come and pick one up. They're $35. Um, and I decided that the $35 includes mailing. So it's only fair that if you're local and you want to pick one up from my porch, then you can have it for $30. Okay, so let me know if you want it and we can make that happen. I have a bunch more that I'm going to do with that. 
I like it when people stamp along with me. It's fun. Okay, now we're good to go. We're going to lay out the pieces again and see how it's going to look. So there is a bigger magnolia on there as well. Oh, that looks kind of cute. Okay. And we'll see. We're going to start with this. I'm trying not to overthink it too much. This one's going to go flat. Like so. And then this next one, we're going to pop up with some dimensionals. And before I put it down, I will just not take the backings off and then I can kind of lay it around. Hmm. No. Maybe I put the other one wrong. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, you get a little quiet when you contemplate, right? Contemplative. How's that for your word of the day? And then... Kind of gets the idea of that things are just drifting down. Like so. <laughs> I think I must have a little bit of Italian in me. I like to talk with my hands. Okay. I thought it was really funny. I had a comment on my blog um, about the face mask card. Apparently, I put the face mask upside down on my card, and I said to them, I said, you know what? It's no wonder I do everything backwards. If I'm in a mall and I'm leaving the store, I will automatically turn the wrong way. That's just the way I roll. So, yeah, when I looked at it, I thought, yeah, that makes sense. But you know what? If you don't wear face masks, um, then you don't really think about that. You don't have any idea. I'm so glad I don't know how to wear a face mask. Okay, look. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Now, let's see. I want to do another one. Um, so when you have these stickers, you can also put those in the Stamparatus. Because, again, you want it to be straight, and it's, you don't want to stamp on your sticker after it's out. So let's see. We'll move that out of the way. I was thinking... I'm um, thinking of you. We'll go there. Oh, I took it out already. There it is. Here we go. So thinking of you... And it's a scripty one, which means it's slightly more forgiving for getting it straight. Although, guess what? I say that and I still straightened it out slightly. I'm going to do it in early espresso. And there. That's really nice, isn't it? In the new catalog, there's going to be a starter bundle of ink spots, which I'm really happy about. I think that'll be really nice. Now I'm going to cheat a little bit. I want to see what they did here. Oh, they did use this and then they used a striped piece. I'm wondering if I have one of those. Let's see what I have left. Solid, solid. Of course, I don't have a pink striped piece. Well, you know, there is magnolia and more. Oh, what's this? Nope. Of course, you know, I'm like you. I like to copy it exactly. I don't want to make do. I don't want to change it. I want that one. Okay. There is paper that goes with this, and I could probably find one. But let me see. Maybe we. Should, maybe I have to get out of my comfort zone. I have to find that one again. Here we go. There. It does need something in behind it, doesn't it? I wonder if that piece, no, that's too busy. And let's see about, okay, bear with me, people, bear with me. See, that's too busy too. You can see why they picked that pink stripe. It's perfect. I shouldn't have moved all my other things out of the way. The green stripe will work too, though. It's going the wrong way. Oh, that annoys me so much. Okay. I'm going to use this. It is four inches by three inches. Okay, we can do this, people. Oh, Oliver's organizing for me. I'm telling you, he is a keeper. So four inches 
by three inches. And then that will fit in the middle of the card. See? I still think it would be nicer in pink, but you know what? You don't always get what you want. I need that, thank you. I know, there isn't. No. Never had it? Never had it. I See, this, what happened is that I, you know what? I know what I'm gonna do. I need a piece of petal pink. I'm gonna cut this a little bit smaller and then we're going to put it on petal pink and then it will look really nice. I'm going to go two and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. And this is the last card, people, then I'm done. Then I have to write my blog because what's happening today is I'm getting carried away. All right, I've got to be back. You have to wait. I really hope this is the right color. Hope I think I got the wrong color. That is not petal pink. It was in the wrong spot. Ooh. Maybe I was wrong. It is petal pink. I did all that running for nothing. Okay, so four by three. That's how I get my exercise, people, by looking for things and forgetting things. But that's okay. I, I'm thankful that I can run again because yesterday or the day before, that would have been a difficult thing. See? Okay. It's looking better. This is so pretty too, isn't it? You could cut out those flowers too. Okay, so now top two corners and then down. And then, and then, <laughs> okay. I think I covered up my card with the, there. Well, yeah, you, you know what happened now. Here we go, I have it. So, see that looks prettier with the, with the pink border around it, doesn't it? Now I thought we are going to put that on a, one of the craft mem Magnolia Lane cards. There. But you can see how pretty these cards are, how versatile they are, how much fun they are to... Oh, that ran out. Good thing I have dimensionals. There we go. So I'm going to pop this one up with dimensionals. And you know what? I can show you those best dressed cards too, or well dressed. And then, yeah, it's called well dressed. I'll show you what's going in that kit. And you know what? Sometimes people think, oh, that's not very many. It's only four cards and a stamp set for $35. Well, I'm telling you, you stand there and cut out all those pieces. It's amazing how much time that takes. Um, and you know, you can't do all that stuff for nothing. So you're not just paying for the materials, you're paying for the time that went into it. Look how pretty that is. And, but I want to show you the versatility of the sticker. So that's really pretty, but so is the sticker and they can maybe go together. Look how nice, definitely they can. See, there's also this one. See how pretty that is? I wonder if, look, I can add that to this, I'm getting carried away. Although, that's too much. That's too much. See see how it's easy to just take something simple and then do too much with it? So I'm gonna put this away. It's pretty for in the inside, see? So you can add something nice to the inside of your card. Okay, let's keep going with this. This is really nice. Um, and I'm going to pop it up just because I can and because I ran out of tape. And maybe we'll add some leaves yet. Like so, or like, I'm not sure. I kind of like it like that. Isn't that pretty? And then I have a leaf here with a glue dot. And then you can step it up a notch again and add some pearls. Um, I did have ribbon, but it seems like I really haven't needed the ribbon. Um, there. 
Isn't that pretty? And you know what? It stands up just fine. So even though the card is not heavyweight, by the time you add your other things, it's absolutely fine. Okay, so we're, we get sometimes we get bent out of shape for nothing. Now, I do see something cute. Look, there are these little things. I'm going to just peel it off and see. No, oh, that's not working very well. There we go. Look. Do I want that in the middle? No, I'm really liking the blank space. But see, it's a good idea to just hold these things in and see, okay, do I like that? No, I don't. But it looks nice here. Oops. There. See, so then that looks pretty on the bottom of your, your card. And then, let me see. Here we go. I can add one of these as well. See? And then right away you have something pretty in the inside of your card. So this, these cards are just instant gratification. So don't forget to share my video, people. I love it when you do that. I love hearing your comments. So if you've been a silent watcher, then you know what? Why not um, say hello? I'm going to see if this looks good with a piece of ribbon around it. It doesn't look bad, but again, I'm leaning towards simple. Simplicity. And then maybe we can do this. That doesn't really need to be there either, though. That works. So you kind of have to decide that doesn't look bad with the flowers. You know, if you want, you feel like you need to add some more, you can. That looks pretty. Why not? And then I could have, and then the nice thing about these stickers is that if you change your mind, you can, if you have, see, they pick right up. If you don't press hard, see, this might look even better. I like the leaf and then the flower. Okay. See, so you can build up a, a bouquet. See, and maybe there another leaf. Like so. And then the flower. There. That looks good. And you could pop it up too. So that actually looks, I'm happy with that. So that's what's really nice about these stickers. They're slightly repositionable if you haven't been too aggressive with putting them down. So we have that one and this one and this one. So we did quite well in our little uh, live video. I hope that you have fallen in love with these. I just think that they are really nice, a nice addition to... Um, to a stamp set. When you have the stamp set, it's nice to get the memories and more cards and the bases because it just lets you play with your set a lot more and you'll get a lot more out of it. And before I sign off, I'm just going to grab you the cards for my well-dressed kit to go. So this is the stamp set and I love collage stamping. So all my cards are collage stamping. I have used the Corona... Um, response product PDF, which I think is fantastic. I think it's a wonderful resource um, that you can use to make great cards during this time. It's a lot of fun and there's a lot of things in there that you can use um, even after this whole Corona thing is over. And they're going to be great to have. That's just hilarious. We will never forget the lack of toilet paper, right? We're going to have stories to tell our grandkids. So there you have it. I'm going to flip this for a minute because I want to say hello. Just a second. Here we go. Here I am. Um, I also wanted to say to you guys, you know, I feel really bad that yesterday and the day before, so May 4th and May 5th, those were the days to the, for um, the liberation, the 75th anniversary of the liberation of Holland by Canadian soldiers. Um, you know, I was supposed to be there. It was a beautiful sunny weather in Holland. It would have been perfect. Apparently, they are going to reschedule the events and they're going to call it 75 plus one. So that's really nice. I'm really excited about that. I'm happy that I have so many poppy cards and I've decided I'm just going to start carrying those poppy cards in my purse. And whenever I see someone with a license plate that has a veterans, you know, they have a symbol on their license plate. If they stop or I see them coming out of their car, they're just going to get a card. I'm going to take them with to Holland. And if I visit the cemeteries, the war cemeteries, 
I will drop them off there too because people always come throughout the year to visit the graves of their loved ones and then they get a very warm reception from the staff there and then the staff will have personal cards to give to these people. Um, while I'm in Holland, I'll write a personal note in each one and I just think it's wonderful that we can do that. Together we can make a difference and I just wanted you to know that I did not forget yesterday um, that it was that big celebration. I had meant to share a video or something, but you know what? Life isn't perfect and things don't always happen the way we want. And we just have to give ourselves grace for that because otherwise you can always be feeling guilty about something. So don't do it, people. I'm learning not to do that. It's okay. And it's okay. Like I did my video two, three minutes late. It's okay. Yes, I said one o'clock. It's 103. Big deal. It's okay. We're going to roll with it. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. Let me know if you want one of those kits and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.